All right, uh, sorry, Lincoln Metro Notebook trade number two. Uh, remember, we're going for this green line. Remember what I told y'all. If it closed above that two, uh, 2902, take that trade up. We already we already in that trade. Um, we're going for the green line. Actually, the chart should be here. It should be here. I mean, the lines are here. We're getting out here. We're going to be gone long before that. We're going to be gone long before that. Now, um, while we're doing this one, the other one already hit as well. The um, the yen. So we got about four pips and we'll be out of that trade. Let me pull up the yen on the other one. Where's the yen? Where's the yen? Oh, we're waiting for that one to hit 11. All right. Let's get down. Notebook trades. That's one. <laughs> All right, right here. Remember when we said this? Did the average close close on the 107? Uh, I mean, 104.77. You should see 104.65. Bam, there you go. Close under it, hit it. That one came a little faster than I anticipated. And this is the one we're on right now. Notebook trade. If it closed above 201, you should go nine pips ease to 130. But remember, you get nine pips, people. Get nine pips and go. Do not, do not. Well, mine gonna, mine gonna uh, clock out anyway. I already got mine set. Get your nine pips and go. So we're gonna be out of this trade roughly about um, eleven. Here's the problem: as you notice, it has already spiked up there. If you ever on a notebook trade, if it spikes up and hit those triggers, that trade is over. I don't care if it closed above or not. That trade is over. Do you understand me? Do not do that. If that thing spikes up and triggers those lines, people, your trade is over. Do not, don't say, well, he said wait for it to close. That means it's over. Remember, my strategy is based on price triggers. Triggers. That means once that price is triggered, that price is no good. Remember that. Remember that, please, people, remember that. If the if the ones like so for instance, like this morning, this thing spiked. If you notice, it spiked up, right? It almost hit our halfway point. I mean, you can I'm pretty sure somebody got it already. But it's cool. If it did if they didn't, it's cool. But let me show you something. But it never hold on, make sure I got nothing on the stove. Um, if you notice, look now, you're gonna look at the bottom down here, this little bracket. Look where it closed out at. Look where it closed out at. It closed at 2900 that's not above 2902 now this one did look where this one closed at 2902 i took that trade that's when i entered that trade the same way i told y'all to enter it right there now we're going to wait for that green line we got less than a two pips away less than one pip away once you hit that 11 people get out of those trades please do if you want to get out now that's cool you know that's cool but once it hit that 11 mark here, now it's going to hit these lines. These are the lines we're going for. That's not what I'm concerned with. What I'm concerned with, with people get the half and go. Please get the half and go. Do not do anything. Get the half and go. We're going to wait for this to hit that 11. Mine is already set. So as soon as mine hit that 11, it's automatically just going to knock me out. So we're going to wait for a while here. I need to go give me some tea. I've been coughing all morning. Probably haven't coughed yet. <clears throat> now remember, the number you're looking for, you can get out at 10 or 11. Um, I'm going to get out at 11. Some people probably already got out at 10. That's cool. If that's how you want to do it, knock yourself out. But once it hit that 11, get out. Now, the, the flip side of this story, if it closes back under 29 Oh, two, you have to get out that trade, people. You have to. You have to get out that trade. It is, it, there's no ifs, there's no ands, there's no buts or suppose about it. Now, what I didn't tell y'all was what chart I was on. I was actually using the hour chart. So that's what I had based everything off was the hour. So the hour is the one you really want to worry about whether it goes under 2902 or not. But remember, once that thing hit that 11, people get out of that trade. 
You so I'm, not, I'm pretty sure some people already got out now, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with getting out right now. So we're just waiting. There we go, going back up there. So the highs it got on me right now is 09. It got up to 10, didn't it, one time? 09. So 09, 07, basically. So I'm saying it's going to go one more pip than that. And no, I'm not being greedy, people. I'm not being greedy. Because trust me, the line is up here. So I'm not being greedy at all. You know? Now somebody will say, well, I would have took 09. Well, you can. Yeah, that's up to you. But... Like I said, it should be able to go half the distance, and that's all that matters to me. As long as it goes half the distance, that's cool. Well, y'all watch that, because it seems like it's a pause on us. I need to find my tea. Make sure I got nothing on the stove. I think I put something on the stove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I did have a stove on. <laughs> that thing was burning like hell. Okay, where we at on this trade here? All right, still haven't got there yet. Come on up there. We're looking for 15 is your number. Be gone by night. Be gone by 11, people. Be gone by 11. Get out. Be gone by 11. Remember what I told you. As long as that thing closes above 29.02, you're good to go. If it closes under 21, 29.01, you have to get out that trade. Good thing about it, this is going to be on an hour, so you're good to go. It seems like you still got two minutes. Now, oh, the reason why I have mine set, because if it spikes, most time you have a good chance of it spiking up. And now when it gets up here, it'll slow down. But since this is really not a number or anything, <clears throat> see, see how that did that? See, now you got to watch it. But that's really not a gravity line or anything. So most likely it'll spike. It won't give you time to get in or out. Now we're under that 2902. See what I'm saying? Now we're in trouble. Now, okay, now we're back above it. See how it's playing with that in the line? You got to be careful on this. This is critical. This is very critical right here. Because if that thing closes under 2902, you have to get out that trade, people. If it closes above it, we don't care. We don't care about that. But if it closes under, you have to get out that trade. Twenty five seconds. <clears throat> there we go. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. We need it to close above that. We're good. We're good, people. You're good. We don't care about the volatility. It can pull back. It can do what it want to do now. We're good to go. We're good to go. That's what we wanted to happen, just like that. We're good to go now, people. We get that money easy. That's easy money right there, boss. That's money in the bank right there, boss. Watch what I tell you. That's money in the bank. Watch what I tell you. All we getting, let me move this out the way. All we're going to is that green line right there, people. That's it. Get that. Sorry about that. That's money in the bank right there, boss. I can tell you that right now. 
You can take that one to the house with you. Now remember, mine's going to trigger. Mine's is already set to take profit right at 29.11, right on the head. So once it hit that, it's good to go. Now we're not worried about the volatility anymore. We're not worried about it because it can go up and in, underneath there, but we're not worried about it. It's about to knock that right out, boss. That thing going up here. We're going with the, the object is 15. That'll be your first trigger. But remember, we're going to be long gone. We're going to be out of this trade by 29.11. We're going to be long gone, people. Get your money and go. Oh, now, let me add this to it. <clears throat> now we really need it to move. Look what time it is. We need it to get up out of here by 30 minutes because now Chicago is going to come in the market in a minute. Most likely, it'll trigger that number and we're gone. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're three pips away. We're three pips away. We're doing good on the money. There we go. Two pips. Well, almost is two pips. Three pips. Back to three pips. Two and a half pips. The number we're looking for is 29.11. Once we hit that 29.11, people, you can take your money right now if you want to. You should be five pips to the good. But I'm telling there we go. What I tell you, two pips away. Fifteen is your number, but we're going to be gone by 11 now, people. Remember that. One, one and a half. There we go. We out. Money in the bank, boss. I told you. Next time, that's what I'm talking about. Money in the bank. Good trade, y'all. See ya. Notebook trade. Oh, I forgot to, I was trying to text people because I had a point to prove on this. As you see, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you it's going to hit those targets? Now, y'all see why I say get half the money. That's why I say that. It did hit the targets. But remember what I tell y'all, please, people, do not go by those targets. Yes, those targets are very, 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 very strong. But get the money and go. Just take your money and go, man. Don't worry about that. It might, it should get all the way up here and knock out all of these. That's why we had a target of 129.30. But to be on the safe side, you know, I, I, I hate, I don't want somebody to lose money Listen to what I'm saying. So that's why I'm telling you, cut it in half. Cut that price in half, get that money, and go, people. All right, we're done.